Hi there, and welcome back to Pinch of Cooking. Today we're making spicy mango salsa. And if you like sweet and savory dishes, you will love this recipe. You can use it with chips, pile it up on fish or shrimp tacos, or use it as a relish on your fish. I like to combine ingredients that are vibrant in color, freshness, and have contrasting flavors. It's best to use mangoes before they're overripe, so you can get a little bit of tartness and sweetness. And they're easier to cut that way. My mangoes are a little bit more ripe than I would like to, but they will still taste phenomenal. This variety of mangoes is called champagne mangoes, but you can use any type of mangoes you can find in your local grocery. Everybody has a favorite way of cutting mangoes. I like to peel them like a potato and then cut off as much flesh as I can and then small dice it. Next, I'm going to small dice a red onion. You could substitute it with white, but I just love how vibrant the red looks together with the yellow mango. Next comes the bell pepper. I'm also using about half of it, just based on the size of my salsa. Best way to cut a bell pepper is with a sharp knife, cutting on the inside, face it up. Jalapeno is our spicy component, and not all jalapenos are created equal. Depending on the growing conditions, they could be either very mild or super spicy. Taste a little bit to get a feel for it, and also add in moderation. You could always add more later, but you can't exactly extract it from the salsa. Seeds in jalapeno have a concentrated amount of capsaicin, which is the chemical compound that makes the pepper spicy. So removing the seeds will definitely lessen the heat. Also, use of gloves is recommended. And if you are using your hands, don't touch your face or eyes afterwards. Even after you wash your hands, the spicy oil stays on your skin for many hours. Chop a small bunch of cilantro. And if you really, really don't like it or one of your guests don't like it, you could always leave it out. For the dressing, we will need juice of one full lime salt to taste. Mix and taste it to see if the flavors are well balanced and if any more salt or spiciness is needed. Remember the flavors will continue developing as it stands around. So I like to make it about an hour before serving and keep it in refrigerator. This is completely optional but I like to go in with a couple of drops of hot sauce just to bring all the flavors together and add another type of spice. My salsa is ready. Thank you so much for watching. And please let me know what you think about this recipe in the comments.